So we're down here in Brough, County Limerick. We've got a very special off the ball road show this evening and we're honouring, I suppose, Brough's most famous son, whether he wants to be called that or not. John Hayes is here. Hello. Hello Joe, how are you? Very well. Good. You were just saying the weather's always like this around here. Yeah, this is actually just an average even though usually it's better than this at this time of the year, so just get used to it. Well, we're delighted to be here and we're going to have you and Fiona up on stage and Eddie O'Sullivan has come down. He was just doing a master class with some coaches here. Uh, Bruff is kind of a little bit famous in Irish circles because this is where you turned up at, we're talking 18, 19 years old, zero rugby behind you, a GAA man up until that point. Yeah, um, September 1992, so it's a fair few years ago now, all right, but uh, just come in here. And that's, I think, the great thing about a club like this is that it gives young fellas and girls as well now. There's a lot of them playing here as well now, not as much when I started. Mm. Um, a good opportunity to come into a club that's local to them and have a go at rugby. I suppose that's the thing because so much of the success of Irish rugby is, and it's great in many ways, it's built on the, the private fee paying schools and then there's the likes of Sean O'Brien or Tyg Furlong or yourself who come through the clubs. We don't really talk too much about the clubs in many ways. Um, yeah, obviously you know, everybody knows that the schools has always provided most of the players that they come through the schools and then play for their clubs um, originally or after that anyway. Mm. But nowadays there is more and more young young people are going to be uh, discovered through clubs that are not in the, the school system, like you know, and this, it will definitely turn up a few more for us. Yeah, hopefully. Lovely family atmosphere here. I mean, we were just ch we were chatting, and someone walked by you and said that lad was my first ever second row partner, which is where you started. Yeah. So I guess you know everyone here. Everyone knows each other. It's a an important part of the community. It is, yeah, because it's all um, different parishes. You know, it's in the it's in Brough, like, but there's uh, players come from all the parishes around, from Hospital Kilmallock down to a Palace Green Cap more every place like so they all come here and play their rugby here. Yeah. What are your strongest memories of coming up here at eighteen nineteen and realising I quite like this game? Yeah, um, this was the it's the training pitch now but it was the front pitch that time they've switched it round. Right. Um I just remember the first night training here like it was just I I genuinely remember feeling like I liked this more than what any other sport I played and I knew I was going to be back and had no excuses about training. Yeah, because um, you'd been GAA before that. Yeah, I had been GAA and I suppose I'd have broke some of the, uh, the coaches' hearts for not turning up to train and then right. literally came here then and just turned the other way around. I just couldn't do enough, like so I um, just knew from, from day one that this was the sport. Right, what a, what a lovely thing. At least you found it just in time and I guess finally, what a mad journey to go from coming up here at 18-19 just to play a sport because you loved it. To give it a try. To give it a try and then you don't really think realistically You'll make your debut at 24 for Ireland. Be the first 26. man. 26. <laughs> Jesus, 26. Be the first man to get over 100 caps, go on a Lions tour in 09, win a Grand Slam, win two European Cups with Munster, play over 200 times for Munster. Like, you know, when 19 year old Hayes shows up here, that's a long shot to say the least. You must kind of pinch yourself when you think about it. Yeah, absolutely, you know, because even when I hear some of the young guys now, uh, they're getting their first caps or whatever like that, you know, they'll say, I've dreamt about this since I started playing it, but when uh, when I started, like, I was just trying to learn how to even play the game. Yeah. And I never had any, um, even like goals, if you want to call them officially a goal or anything like that to go there for. I just wanted to learn how to play the game and enjoy it and yeah. just started off and just took it one step at a time. Well, listen, we're looking forward to tonight. So we have a full house here in Brough and we're going to be on stage with John and with Fiona and Eddie O'Sullivan's here as I mentioned and a few local people George Clancy of course the referee yeah, is, a, well. is a Brough man did you yeah well he's, uh, he's a Brough man as well so you'll be able to podcast the full show you'll be able to watch it back and uh, we're looking forward to it I know it's your worst bloody nightmare to be here in front of people but you're doing it for Brough absolutely that could be in a worse place to do it I suppose well, that's true yeah we've come to you <laughs> exactly <laughs> right that's us